Hello everybody, my name is Timmy here, and today we're going to be talking about the YouTube copyright ID system and just the whole mess that it makes right now with my videos and a bunch of other gaming channels. Now, uh, fair warning, there might be some profanity in this video, so I'm sorry if I do say it, but just, you know, fair warning. And two, this is going to be a long video, so it's going to be about 10 minutes, so I hope you guys enjoy it and stick around. So just let's sit down, relax, and let's all rage together. Anyway, gameplay is not important, just watch it if you want. If not, you could just tab out and listen to me talk. Here we go. So the YouTube copyright like laws and rules with YouTube has been changed this past week. And this has been actually changing a lot of people's YouTube channels and really hurting hurting them badly a lot of your big youtubers that you watch say me and uh well, i'm not really big but like say like people with like millions of subscribers they have a lot of videos that are being flagged for copyright that the copyright is not even valid like the copyright is just it's not a true copyright but they're still the videos are being taken down and that's bad that's really bad so what I mean by copyright is, and most people know what I mean by copyright, is that the, the gameplay that you watch, that say the gameplay in the background in this video and or any video, it's not ours. Like I don't own Grand Theft Auto V. I own the game, but I don't own the rights to it. I own my voice that I get to make over the like video and make a review type thing slash parody kind of thing. It falls in the law kind of that way with like fair use and stuff like that but I don't own the gameplay so I could be like under I'm under like the company's copyright but I don't own it so that's the thing and the scanning system that YouTube has changed now and that has actually was released on Monday that's making this huge mess the problem is, is that it's scanning videos and putting them in copyrights that are not real copyrights that are just they're making claims that are just not true there's like companies it's saying that like ubisoft or blizzard or whatever is copying is like wants a claim for your video when that's not true a lot of companies mostly like blizzard and ubisoft they're like we didn't make those claims that's the youtube like system that's the new content id system that's messing everything up and that's the problem that's the huge thing is that because it's making fake claims and that's hurting also the company too because then people are like why is Ubisoft taking down my video I thought they were a great company and everything when really it's not it's just the YouTube system for example uh, one youtuber that I watch Angry Joe he did a like a live like Q&A with a person that was making Tomb Raider one of like the programmers or developers or whatever like a live interview with them I think at E3 or whatever like live interview and the video was taken down for copyright because it was by Tomb Raider. But it was a live interview. It was completely Joe's property. But that's the problem with this new system. The system's taking down anything from in-game music. Like, for example, the radio stations here on GTA. And I'll talk about that later, why I'm going to be changing that. The radio stations on GTA say the background music in Skyrim, for example. Or anything like things like that the background music to Mario like if you if the game if the system hears that it's gonna take down your video and that's a big problem because you can't really like fix that and if say anything like say even like the noises in the game or like the ambiance or whatever if you could buy that on Amazon for example say you could buy like say the Minecraft's soundtrack or whatever on Amazon it will scan that and take your video down because it's able to be bought which is a big mess it's just it's terrible this is not a good system and that's the problem and the thing is a lot of companies they don't care they want you guys to do this they want us to make videos and get the game popular for example notch in minecraft he said he seriously said that minecraft would not be as popular as it is today it is possibly the most watched video of like games and stuff it's the most played game on youtube right now and not said if it wasn't for youtubers like us content creators for making videos on minecraft and broadcasting this game out to people it wouldn't be nowhere as popular so companies want us to make these videos they want us to show off the game show off everything they want to see everything that we're doing and 
that's good so people could actually see how cool this game is and buy it themselves because that's what they want the companies want that for example rockstar i just pulled it out because i'm playing gta here i literally you can go on their website right now in the faq and see what they say about it and they're okay with it they just say don't have like performances in game like record the in-game performances which is like say like if you go to a show on in like the single player and record that don't upload that that makes sense don't upload the ending which i mean i guess they don't want you to upload the ending like say the day they came came out i mean if you do like say a month later i don't think they'll care too much also don't record like say cutscenes and stuff like that like in the music don't record that but they're fine with everything else they say they love machinima and like like game videos and stuff they love all that stuff they want to see that and the problem with the system is that it's just taking everything down and it's a huge problem like why are they doing this youtube like why like other companies like ubisoft for example they're actually good guys now they said if your video is flagged and it says um watchdogs reaction video because watchdogs is a new game coming out by ubisoft which i suggest everyone gets because of how smart ubisoft is Say you had a video for Watch Dogs and your video was taken out. It says, taken down by Ubisoft. So what you can do is they said, leave the video up. Just leave it. And second thing, send them the URL of the video and say, like, oh, who flagged it? Say Ubisoft, whatever, maybe a secondary company, whatever. Send them the, U the URL and they'll try to clear it out the same day. Like, th they want... They don't want this. They th just think it's a huge mess, and they just want to clear it out, and that's a great thing. That's great that Ubisoft, a big company like that, do you understand? They are a big company. They make massive games. They are wanting to help out the guys like us who are really helping them out the most, which is great to get these claims gone, and that's that's great. Other companies are doing this, like, say, Capcom and Blizzard. They're just, they hate the system, and they really want us to, like, not have these claims, which is great and that's awesome but the problem is, is that these companies that are making these claims it might not even be ubisoft or blizzard or anyone else it could be these third rate companies that like people who sell the music to like say ubisoft for example it that they're making the claims and these companies they're not really they shouldn't be even making the claims because they have no right to like this is not their property. This is not, say, they're not the musician who made the music or they're not Ubisoft who published the game. They're just a third-rate company that's kind of like the middleman and they're trying to bring down and make the, take the money from it. And that's the thing. The big problem with this is that it, we are losing money. Like it or not, people who make YouTube videos, there's money involved and that's a big part of YouTube. A lot of people who are getting these huge videos takedowns because of the claims and everything, they're freaking out because this is their life. This is their job. It may seem like an easy job, and believe me, it is pretty easy making videos. It's, But the whole system with working with YouTube, it's a big thing, and it takes a lot of time. So people who are losing their jobs, it sucks because this is their life, and they can't... Like they say they quit from their original jobs to do this. This was like a big risk, but now they're facing unemployment from YouTube because of this copyright system, which is just terrible. So that's what I'm going to, that's like the whole problem with the YouTube system. But now I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing. For my videos now, I'm going to keep doing YouTube. I don't really care because none of my videos have been taken down yet, which is great. Other than that, I have some videos that have like some music in there that's not supposed to be there. But I'm going to take those out. I'm going to remove them because they're just useless. But they have no strikes on them, which is pretty good. I'll just remove those. No one has watched them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, for my videos, for any GTA video that I have, I'm going to have to turn off the radio just so none of the like music in-game can be like caught and the video taken down. So just no radio music anymore. I don't think you can really hear the gameplay as well. So, I mean, it will be hard anyway, so that's not too bad. And that's pretty much it. Probably, like, no pictures of, like, copyrighted logos for a while until the system is fixed. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys can understand. I hope you guys sat through this whole thing. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you did and comments and stuff. And, yeah, guys, I will see you all next time.